Metro have finally been arrested. The darkness brought here by the key. No one will dare defy us after all this. The hunter is back. Lightning? Long time no see, Vanille. <laughs> you look well, and you haven't changed. You're just as I remember. <laughs> Me and everyone else. But you don't mean it like that, do you? Vanille, we'd fought together once a long time ago. We were comrades in arms in a battle against gods who toyed with human destiny. And at the end of that battle, she sacrificed herself. She turned into a great crystal pillar, rising from the plains of Pulse, holding a world full of people safe in the sky. But then 13 years ago, she came back. <laughs> <sighs> you again? Oh. <laughs> so you two know each other? Oh yes, we've been together ever since I woke up. Right, thick as thieves. But Fang's not around. Well, we woke up at the same time and we were together for a while, but she left. And you decided to stay behind under the protection of the Order? You must have a reason. Uh-huh. There's something I have to do. It has to be me, and it has to happen right here. There's a lot of chaos swirling around in here. I'd have thought the Order's Cathedral at least would still be clear. Yes, yes, I know. It hurts terribly. I understand. But it won't be long now. You'll be free soon. Vanille, who are you talking to? What is this stuff? A wind of sorrow, the lament of the dead. Can't you hear their voices? Lost souls crying out in pain and suffering. You mean this wind is the dead? Yeah, they've been drawn here, one after another. All the people who died after the chaos poured through the gate. They've been swallowed by the chaos, and now they're trapped inside. I can feel it. All their sadness, all their grief, they're swelling around me. Every single cry feels like a dagger, right in my heart. <sighs> there must be so many millions of souls, and you feel all their pain? That can't be. Our world is being destroyed. There's no place for them to come back to. And there's no way for them to be reborn anymore. So they're caught in the chaos with their pain. They just can't escape it. The Order believes that the souls have to be saved from their sorrow. They say the only way to do that is to offer them oblivion. Fenil's job is to call them to her so that can happen. All of those souls at the same time? But Vanil, will you be able to handle all that? I don't have any choice. Besides, if she doesn't, can you guess what will happen? This wind has been building for years. 
Layers of souls. A black hole of pain. Try and imagine how much energy is inside. If it ever got out, all at once. It'd be the end of this world, and the future as well. Like you're enjoying yourself. Good book? It's my journal. I've written in it for years. I read through it every day. It reminds me of the past. I'm retired, so I have plenty of time on my hands. Those are all yours? Every single one? I've been writing for 500 years now. That adds up, you know. <laughs> uh, the memories. I've experienced so much in those years. I've really led a great life. Nowadays, I find joy in reading about the past, and enjoying freshly baked delicious muffins. That's all a simple man like me really needs. The simple pleasures in life for a simple man. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, speaking of freshly baked muffins... Fresh out of the oven, just the way you like them. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much, young man. You say that to me every day. Change it up a little, will ya? <laughs> oh, I'll think of something different for you tomorrow. Hmm. Let me see here. There you go. Thanks. See ya. Marlin bakes the most mouth-watering muffins. They're exquisite. He even delivers them to me here personally every day. That's nice. You two seem like your old friends. Well, I'd like to think we're more than that. Talking to him always cheers me up. I've never had a family of my own. To me, that friendly boy who brings me muffins every day is like the son I never had. Great memories, great food, and great friends. What more do you need? Looks like you're all set. Indeed I am. I know we don't have much longer in this world, but even if everything ends tomorrow, I'll have no regrets. Well, except for one little thing. It's about these journals. Well, I'm afraid I lost the first one some time ago. It chronicles the first 50 years of my life. 50 years. You want it back, of course. Yes, I do. I don't suppose I could ask. Well, do you think you could look around for it? Sure, why not? I'll take a look. How will I know it's yours? My name is written on the cover. I don't think you should have any problems recognizing it. Oh, and I'd like to ask you not to read it if you find it. Not to say my life has been all that exciting. <laughs> of course. Hmm, it'll be tricky to find, though. Is there anything else that might help? Do you remember where or when you lost it? Well, hmm. It's a bit of a long shot, but... I may have donated it with some of my old books by mistake a long time ago. If memory serves, they went to... A woman named Mitka. She runs a secondhand shop, or used to. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know where she is now, or what she's doing.
need to return to the Ark at 6 every morning, without question. Remember that, Light. for a woman who used to own a bookstore in these parts. She also goes by the name Mitka. Well, my name is Mitka, and I ran a bookshop once back in the day, but that was over 200 years ago. Are you certain I'm the one you're looking for? I'm not, but maybe you can help me. Listen, I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if you remember a man named Renolf. Ah, yes, I remember him. Gosh, that was a long time ago. Who are you anyway? What do you want with him? He's the one who found me, really. He asked me to track down an old journal of his for him. He did? Huh. That's a strange request. And what is he up to these days? Eating muffins and reading his books. That's about it, really. Oh. So, why are you helping him, if you don't mind my asking? It's what I do, that's all. Oh. Are you one of those people who does charity work? Call it what you will. So, can you help me out? All I can tell you is that I've never handled his journal, but I do know a thing or two about his past. But none of that is for me to divulge. If you want the truth, you need to find out for yourself. I plan to. I just don't know where to start. Head to the part of the city they call the Warren. Once there, seek out the man with no name. <laughs> right. Hope there's only one of them, or that's gonna be rather difficult. Oh, not to worry. You'll find him. But I urge you to be very, very careful. What you're doing is admirable, but it might not be what he really needs. Light, you have to be in the Ark at 6 o'clock every morning to regulate the time distortion. to tell me your name you only need a name if you want to talk to people if you don't then what good is it that's why I don't need one nor do I ever want one again <laughs> you're definitely the one I'm looking for the man without a name that's you it's true I've been nameless for many years but am I the one you seek who knows who knows anything for certain in this dying world? I guess we can skip the introductions then. I've got a question for you. The reason I wanted to talk to you is because I'm looking for a journal. It belonged to Renolf. Uh, Renolf's journal? Why? W what do you want with a thing like that? Nothing. It's not for me. He asked me to find it for him. I'm just doing him a favor. 
I thought this day would come. After two centuries, I'd hoped he'd given up. But when has a man like me ever gotten his way in this miserable world? <laughs> so much water under the bridge. What did you say? You say Renolf asked you to do this for him. Is that true? That's right. He did. Then go to Yusnan. A woman named Durin has what you're looking for. When you see her, hand her this letter. Tell her that Redick sent you. Redick? So that's your name? It was... centuries ago. Anyway, you tell Orin who sent you, and she'll help you out. Orin liked to watch the trains go by. She would sit and watch for hours. You'll probably find her near the Overlook in Yusnan, where you can see the tracks. So, making a triumphant return! <sighs> you again. What, can you hear me? I'm hearing your feelings. Buzz off, Hope. He does like to talk, that one. But jeepers, that was some showdown. Didn't go like I thought. How so? Okay, pop quiz! 
You get a special treat if you can tell me who showed Noel the Oracle Drive recording. I'm guessing you? Boy, I really underestimated the Shadow Hunter. I never expected he'd sabotage the prophecy himself. After you went to all that trouble to set it up, my heart bleeds for you. Hey, don't get me wrong. I didn't want it to go down any more than you. I'm happy it didn't. The world in that prophecy wasn't real. It was just a pretty fake. Like this god of yours, Benavelza. You know he's not omniscient. There are some things even he can't see. Things he can't see? Things like this? Oh, you're sharp as a knife, aren't you? When did you get to know so much about things? Still, I wonder if God knows his servant has her own agenda. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Well, it's that time again. Once upon a time, Noel was one of the leaders. He helped us in the struggle against the chaos. When the Order took the reins of power, he went underground, but he didn't disappear. He worked from the shadows to help keep the peace. in the Oracle Drive is true, then maybe I should have died. That would be the best if it brings out the best possible future for everyone. I'm not so sure about that. The moment you die, you'll have failed in your mission as savior. And that, in turn, means you could not save Noel's soul. What would happen to him then? You're saying those images in the Oracle Drive weren't real? Those scenes where everyone looked so happy and safe? They were no more than just a pretty fake. They were just pictures. There's no way to see into the hearts of the people you saw in them. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it, I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me, or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment, am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. Vanille and Fang turned into a giant crystal pillar, and together they held up an entire world. We were all supposed to be in it together, but in the end, the entire burden fell on their shoulders. So you see, they have to be helped. We don't have any choice. We owe them 